Keep in mind as we head into these uh, summer months, we've mm -hmm. seen some of the weather, especially with the uh, rain, the thunderstorms. Yeah. And today. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We're going to be tracking rain, which could be heavy at times, too. It could lead to that flood potential as well. So again, yes, we're entering those summer months. We're already into meteorological summer. June 1st was the start of hurricane season. Now out there today, what we're tracking is, yes, that flood potential. We do have a flood watch that has been issued for the D.C. metro area, along with the Baltimore metro area. So if you do have travel plans around those two metro areas, which a lot of people I know do, make sure that you are staying weather aware, especially later on this afternoon and evening, considering we'll see multiple rounds of rain and and thunderstorms and that rain will be locally heavy at times, which could lead to that ponding and flooding on those roadways. Could even see some gusty wind under some of those stronger thunderstorms. The cold front finally passes through later, at least into the early afternoon Thursday. So finally, after that passes through, we'll finally see drier conditions out there right now. Most areas are starting off dry, not so much down towards King George County in Virginia and now into southernmost parts of Maryland. We do have this line with embedded downpours and and some thunder and lightning too. So again, Charles County as well as St. Mary's and eventually over towards Calvert County. Expect uh, this heavier batch of rain to push its way through over the next half hour to an hour or so before eventually that will slide out. Here's that cold front back out towards the Midwest. So yes, it still has some mileage to go. Uh, eventually will pass through our area at least into the early afternoon tomorrow. I'm thinking right around two o'clock in the afternoon. So we could see some clusters of storms associated with that cold front before eventually it does slide out. Temperatures out there right now it is is a warm and humid start. Temperatures 60s and 70s. Currently 72 in DC, 71 in Hagerstown. And we're seeing those dew points. Those are quite elevated. We're seeing those upper 60s and quite a few 70s on the map. We're talking about those 70 degree dew points. That's more so on the tropical end. So yes, that atmosphere is primed. It is ready for any of those thunderstorms to really bubble up. And once they do, it's going to be like those tropical like downpours that are more so uh, typical uh, that you would see in Florida where you have those passing heavy downpours and rain and then we could see multiple rounds of those thunderstorms pushing through, which is why that flood watch has been issued. It includes DC as well as Northern Virginia, Prince George's County in Maryland, as well as Montgomery County and even over towards the Baltimore Metro area and Arundel County also also included. That goes from noon all the way until 10 PM tonight. So get right to future cast to the timing. We have that cluster of thunderstorms at least through a seven o'clock this morning over towards Calvert County that slides out. We'll start to notice a few of those showers and thunderstorms starting to bubble up at least by noon today. So we will see some breaks in between these rounds of thunderstorms. And then we do see that line continue to progress across the DC metro area before moving its way off towards Baltimore. And then by 4 p.m. still some clusters of showers and storms, this warm front lifting in, allowing for any of those showers and thunderstorms to really flourish as we head towards 7 o'clock tonight. And then as we look ahead towards the overnight hours, still some showers around. There's that cold front approaching the area, finally dives in into the early afternoon. So we could could still be dealing with a cluster of thunderstorms or two by about 2 p.m. tomorrow before eventually we should dry things out behind that cold front. Also Friday looking mainly dry as well. So let's get right to that seven day forecast. So we're looking at those lower 80s today, upper 80s tomorrow, rounding out the work week into those low 80s on Friday, holding to those lower 80s this weekend. And it's looking like Sunday is when we could see an isolated shower. Shanika, what are you seeing out there on the roadways this